So I'm uh, starting at the fish tank because I want to raise dragonflies because we got lots of mosquitoes on my property during the spring and summer, fall. Um, so anyway, I got this tank at PetSmart and I got most of my supplies there. Let me just move this plant over. So <clears throat> this is, uh, the substrate is active. Flora, flora core black planted aquarium substrate, roughly about $25 a bag. I used probably two bags. Got some random rocks that I washed off really well and scrubbed them with a toothbrush. Um, I got several different types of plants. Um, this one here, these taller ones that are sticking out of the water are semi-aquatic. And they are, I think, the gold ribbon, ribbon plants. And they're about ten dollars a pack. That was one pack's worth. Um, I got the some of these lucky bamboos in here. Um, they're also semi-aquatic. I think they were about ten dollars a pack. It came with like three of these in there. And then um, I got the top fin ribbon plant here. The one with the white. They weren't in such great shape, so I had to cut them. I like any of the bad pieces off. Um, let me take this lid off. Put it on the side. Alright, and then um, in the back of the tank over here, I got this other grass that grows kind of tall. These. Good for a background eventually. Those are called Lobelia cardinalis. About ten dollars a pack, and then uh, in the front here, I put these um, dwarf hair grass, and uh, they should start to fill in in here. And I got this little minnow I caught down in the creek the other day. Um, I got this in Tetra internal power filter that I made this waterfall with. You gotta have like enough water just to fill up this line. And when I first put it in, I was like worried because it didn't seem to work, but I just needed to climb up. So keep that in mind. Um, this tank was probably about $90 worth of kit. It came with everything you need to set up a tank. But I changed it because of the type of tank that I'm doing. So I went and bought that filter and substrate for the plants. <clears throat> Came with the thermometer. Just trying to give you a better idea of how the tank looks and it's set up. So the reason why you need these semi-aquatic plants is because um, when the dragonfly nymphs, which are really top predators even though they're pretty small, but anyway, when the dragonfly nymphs um, go to morph into a dragonfly they need to climb up out of the water and hang off the leaves this is a little bit elaborate because it's my first tank set up to grow these nymphs so i wanted it to be nice and um possibly gonna see how this goes and then maybe i'll uh <clears throat> start you know raising them in a bigger numbers in just simple plastic bins but since this is in my house and i'm experimenting i wanted to make it look decent All right, so um, today I went out and I caught some stuff in a local pond. And I did find one dragonfly nymph. I think he's right there. Got some water striders. 